Hello, and welcome to another RPD video. Today, we'll be discussing rust seed preparation. First, it's important to make some distinctions. The rust is part of the framework that goes into the rust seat. The rust seat is a recess created by the dentist prepared on the tooth surface. Together, they provide support for the partial denture. There are many different types of rust seats. In this video, we'll describe the most common ones. Let's start with the occlusal rust seat. The occlusal rest seat is roughly triangular in shape, with the apex towards the center of the tooth and the base towards the outside of the tooth. The dimension of the rest seat should be one-fourth the mesiodistal width of the tooth. The dimension of the rest buccolingually should be one-half the buccolingual intercuspal dimension. Now let's take a look at the cross section of the tooth. In this view, we can see that the apex of the occlusal rest is more apical than the base. This is important because it creates a positive seat that directs the occlusal forces from the rest towards the long axis of the abutment tooth. Presence of a rest seat can be confirmed by placing an explorer on the base of the rest seat. If pressure is applied, the explorer should move towards the apex. The marginal ridge should be reduced 1 to 1.5 millimeters. This measurement can also be done using a perio probe if there is no opposing teeth. When an occlusal rest is needed in an area where there is an adjacent tooth, the rest is shifted slightly to the lingual to facilitate access through the lingual embrasure. Here's a summary of the preparation features of an occlusal rest. Preparation can be achieved using a number six diamond or a round end tapered diamond. Let's use a number six diamond for this demo. The diamond is lowered where the proposed occlusal rest apex should be. Cut created by the number six diamond is roughly the final size of the apex. Thus, care should be taken not to make it larger than needed. The diamond is then moved coronally and lingually to create a slope towards the marginal ridge. The diamond is then moved laterally along the marginal ridge to create enough clearance for the metal. Care must be taken not to eliminate your positive seat in this stage. The diamond is moved towards the apex once more, sloping apically along the triangular outline. Executed properly, those three movements are all that is needed to create the triangular outline of an occlusal rest. It is important to round all sharp edges and transitions when you're done with the preparation. It is also important to ensure there are no undercuts on the lateral walls of the rest seat preparation. Now let's move on to the cingulum rest seat preparation. Cingulum rests come in many different shapes. They can be U-shaped, V-shaped, or flat, depending on the tooth they are used on. Regardless of the shape used, cingulum rests should not go beyond the mesial and distal line angles of the lingual surface. Cingulum rests should also be made at the flattest area of the cingulum. They should not interfere with occlusion, and if we slice it with a lightsaber, we should see that the inside of the rest seat is more apical than the outside. This creates the positive seat that directs the occlusal forces of the rest towards the long axis of the abutment tooth. The positive seat can be inspected clinically using an explorer. The depth of the preparation should be one millimeter. And here's a summary of the different preparation features of a cingulum rest. Preparation of a cingulum rest can be accomplished using a flat-ended tapered diamond. After careful consideration of where the preparation would be, the diamond is held close to the planned area of preparation. The preparation is started at one of the line angles. Diamond is then moved in a straight line, both in an incisal direction as well as the direction of the other line angle. The same movement is repeated on the other side, and both cuts should intersect in the middle of the cingulum mesiodistally. After the cuts have been completed, it is important that any sharp edges are rounded. From an incisal view, the shape of the cingulum rust should be triangular. Now let's move on to the embrasure rest seat preparation. The embrasure rest seat looks like two occlusal rests stuck together. The dimensions of each side of the embrasure rests are also one-fourth of the mesiodistal dimension of the tooth. A unique feature of the embrasure rest is the presence of a channel. The channel is a prepared space that allows enough clearance for the metal to connect the rests and the retentive clasps. Channel metal should have 1 to 1.5 millimeters of clearance, and the channel space should be about 2 millimeters in width. And in lightsaber-induced cross-section, APCs of the rest seats should be more apical than the base. Here's a summary of all the features of the embrasure rest seat preparation. Preparation of the embrasure rest seat will require the use of both the number six round diamond as well as the flat ended tapered diamond. Initially, the number six round diamond is used. Preparation of one side of the embrasure rest is identical to that of the inclusal rest. The angle of the diamond is now reversed and the same is repeated on the other side of the embrasure rest seat. After preparation of both sides is complete, now is the time to prepare the channel. This is done using the flat-ended tapered diamond. 
The diamond is moved from one side of the embrasure to the other, while maintaining free-flowing rounded angles. Now let's move on to the last rust seat preparation, the ball rust seat preparation. This rust seat is fairly small. It's only the size of a number six round diamond. The ball rust seat preparation should be located on the most horizontal area of the marginal ridge. Ball rust seats are used specifically in cases where a deep overbite prevents the use of a regular cingulum rust. The ball rust is able to make its way through the incisal embrasure without interfering with occlusion. This is how they work. Take this case for example, it has a deep overbite. The ball rust makes its way through this incisal embrasure right here. You can see it better from this angle too. Now here's a summary of all the features of a ball rust seed preparation. Ball rust seed preparations can be prepared using a number six round diamond. Number six round diamond is moved into the enamel of the marginal ridge to achieve the necessary depth which is only 1 to 1.5 millimeters. Diamond is then moved in an incisal direction to remove any possible undercuts. And finally, any sharp edges or margins should be rounded. With that, we've completed all the current rest seats. We hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you on the next one.